Alright, for the transmission rebuild, I'm not going to do a big long detailed video about the, the whole rebuild process. So instead, I'll just refer you to this book. Um, I bought it online for $35, but you can actually find it for free. And it tells you about the disassembly. It tells you about... It, it's almost everything you need to know about the transmission, about rebuilding it. So what you're going to want to do, you want to take everything apart. All the components, the drums, all the clutches. Um, and, you know, just make sure nothing's messed up. If you have a bad torque converter that went out, you're going to want to get all the metal out of everywhere. Um, take apart this down there on the bottom you've got the Ravenol gear set uh, you take that apart and just uh, inspect everything clean everything I use mineral spirits and then uh, I come back have a little bottle like this full of uh, fluid so starting with the case once you get it all disassembled you're gonna want to clean it and dry it Put it all back together and piece by piece, starting with the rear Ravenol gear set, the center support, the drums. You're going to want to clean them with mineral spirits and get all the, of course, when you're done with that, make sure all the mineral spirits is out and then coat it with some of this transmission fluid. One thing I will show you all though is uh, on the clutch plates. So if you look at this clutch plate specifically, you know, it's hard to tell sometimes at least it was for me at first you know if it was good or bad so but if you look at them sideways from the side profile it's hard to get it on camera but you can definitely tell um, that some of them are thinner or thicker than the others so and that's how I was able to tell for the rare the wear so like especially this one here you really can't see it very well on the camera but it's a lot thicker than some of the other ones and then when you look closer at them these, these clutch plates they have like a marking on them that's kind of shaped like the letter s right there and on some of them that letter is just completely gone but one of the clutches here i think this one is still kind of this surface at least is still in decent shape and you can see that uh marking right there but on the other ones it's disappearing so i'm just going to order new clutches for it and wait for those to come in from amazon or i'll pick them up tomorrow in houston so from the empty case in goes in the ravenol gear set i would have recorded it but i don't have three hands so that's the ravenol gear set and then in goes the center support all right so with this one you got to make sure these four holes get lined up with those four holes right there in the case and this goes in just one way and you gotta get it in there perfect for it to fall and you gotta line it up and there it is come over here so once it's in there and it doesn't quite fall you gotta kind of come down here and turn the output shaft so that it will go down there it is and it ain't, all, it ain't in until the four our center the four holes right there all right then once your center support is in in go your drums after you get your drums then goes your piece like that and then that's mostly about half of it nah, that's a little more than half um, there's two other pieces there's a four five six clutch assembly and then there's the one two three four and the three five um, that are going to go in after that and that's going to do it for this little short video um, after I get my clutches in and get the re rest of it rebuilt I'll follow up with uh, the final assembly so I got lucky found them here in Houston found my parts there is a great place called Excel supply that will sell you all the parts you need individually so if you're in the Houston area you do not need to order online uh, they'll get you what you need here. So this is XL Supply. That's what you're looking for. It's located um, on Vinecrest Drive in Houston, Texas.